Jesus, bless this message. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, I woke up about an hour ago, and I called Igor straight away because God gave me a night vision. I saw this big Bible right there, just sitting there, and the oil was, see, there was oil seeping up, and it was drenched, and it was dripping off. That oil, y'all, is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And thank you, Jesus, that I'm covered with it, and I thank you, God. You know what? Now, we have the barn in an hour at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, v will be coming in for a little while today. Um, he can come in about an hour to go over some Bible character in Hebrew and stuff. So try to come to that. Okay. And um, God is trying to teach you his word. He's trying to teach you how to hear him here. That's what he's doing here. That's what he said too. People don't know how to hear him. His own people. People think they do and they don't. And as an example, there's a young lady in the class that can quote some scripture to you, can quote stuff to you, but she always hears it from another pastor. It's always from pastor. This pastor said, that pastor said, and wow, I heard it, I heard it. Well, that's great to hear that. But there's another young lady that came to the class that's hearing God, okay? And even though this is how it went down, she said, Kim, there was something that you were studying in this, in, on YouTube, and I studied it. I took the study, and I'm guiding you, guiding you. But what you're supposed to do is what I told you. You take the studies God gives you here, and you do them. And I, I guide you through some of it. That's what I do. And then when you're done with the video, you go deeper. You go deeper into what we just studied. You dig more. Dig around. Go deeper. You know, and you start hearing God yourself giving you the understanding. Well, that happened to a girl in the group. She's like, man, I took the study you did, and I dug even deeper like she's supposed to do. And she said, wow, I got this mega understanding. Because, and that come from God, not from a pastor. That come from God. A pastor's job is to lead and guide, guide you, not reveal everything to you. Their interpretation. No, it's our job to guide you, help you get started in your study, help lead you. And then you take it and go deeper. And then you get the understanding from God. And that's exactly what he's doing with some people. Some people just rely on pastors, totally rely on pastors and what they say. And that's not your interpretation from God. That's somebody else's interpretation, you know, and that's, that's not going to help you. What you need to do is hear God for yourself. And you do that by getting in the word, man, and seeking and searching and having that desire, strong desires got to be there. God, I want to know you. Forget about an audible voice. Most people ain't going to get that. But you will hear God the way everybody's supposed to with that understanding of his words. You'll, get, you'll hear that still small voice inside of you, that understanding that you'll get from God. The word of God, man, is anointed. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that seems to be one book that most people in the world tend to avoid. Get in the word, y'all. Get in the word like God is guiding you here. Take the studies he's giving you here because he wants to give you deep understanding from him. But you got a hunger for it. You get, don't just listen to what a pastor says. That's it. And think you know something. You know nothing. You know what that pastor thinks they know. No. The Bible, the word of God that he showed me the oil seeping out of and dripping off of. That is where you're going to hear God right there. That's the word of God. You understand there's power in the word of God. There's power in God's word, y'all, but you got to get in it. So again, I'm going to tell y'all, take the studies he gives you here because God gives us these studies here. They come from God. And even you think, well, I already know this. Oh, do it anyway. Because like Jesus told me, my own people, they don't know my word. They think they do, but they don't. It's not my word. They know Pastor so-and-so's word, <laughs> okay? So you take the studies God is giving you, and then you do the study that he puts out here. And then when you're done, you go deeper into prayer with God. You go searching more. There's always more in there about what we're studying. Go find it for yourself. Go dig deeper. Write it down, man. Get that understanding from God. You're hearing God when you do that, y'all. All right? God bless you guys. I'm going to see you guys in the barn at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have people giving their essays on their Bible character. We have Avi coming in for about an hour with some Hebrew. 
thank those of you that's coming in and sending a gift to Avi for his time, effort, and work he's putting into this. Thank those of you guys for helping us back do what we do. All right, thank you for helping Africa, all that stuff. Um, it's not too late for your first fruits. Of course, it's never too late. But first fruits, that's the time when God sends them extra blessings down because he requires more of you. So you can go ahead and get that in if you haven't. Those of you that have, praise God. Now expect your blessing, whatever your big blessing is. Yeah, God don't lie. He loves people that trust him and it's faithful to him. He loves everybody, but it makes him happy when you trust him and you're faithful to him. All right, I'll see you all in about an hour. God bless you. See you later.